So I decided to create this thing and it has no attitude control. It's controlled by a Lua code and it's completely custom made. And uh, this is what it does. Basically just seeks out the target and rams it. As it is rotating completely freely in the air with no attitude control, as you can see it's still perfectly capable of not falling out of the sky. I don't know it's being dragged down but uh, you get my point. This is because of the Lua code it is run with. It has two modes, so in the first mode it seeks out the target and destroys it and in the second mode it just returns to its altitude set point and slows down as quickly as possible. And the plan is to show you how to make this yourself. I'll show you all the coding and the ideas behind this. The code and aircraft is in the description, but if you want to use it there are a few things you should know. So. First of all, you need a way to detect the target, so just use the in-game target detection. It can be something simple like just a radar. Then you need thrusters in all six directions. And you also should get some uh, balloons to get you out of the water. <coughs> you also should get a control block that controls the spin blocks, if you're gonna add those. And also give all of the thrusters the green T for firing like so. And uh, lastly, you might need to adjust the PID values within the code. So I'll explain the dot vector idea with this 2D drawing, but it can easily be extended to 3D, so don't worry about that. For the idea, we dot this directional vector of the thruster with the direction we want to go in, which in this case is just straight up. And then we feed that result to the to the thruster as its power fraction. From the maths, when we combine the forces contributing to the directions that are not up, they cancel out. And uh, I'll show you those maths in a second. Here is the same idea explained mathematically. So we want the force contribution to be upwards, only upwards, which is our chosen direction in this case. So that necessarily means that the force components B1 and B2 have to equal each other and have to be opposite and equal so that they cancel. B is for black, by the way, and red is for red, and yellow is for yellow, green is for green. So, and B1 is equal to B2 if we dot the directional vector, so this up vector, which is equal to 0, 1. So it's 0, 1. If we dot this up vector together with the directional vector of the thruster and then feed the resort as the power fraction to the thruster. This is the dot product, the resort of the dot product. B1 is simply sine alpha, that resort. So it's green times sine alpha and that's B1. This should make sense. And then for B2 we have a similar thing. So we dot this vector right here, this directional vector with up vector and we get this yellow vector which is the same as this one. So we can express it as the magnitude of the red vector times sine alpha and then for B2 we just need to cos that re cos alpha that result and we end up with B2. And now it's, it should be clear that B1 is equal to B2 because we have cos alpha here, we have cos alpha here, sine, sine, and R, and not everything cancels. And so B1 is equal to B2. And the only forces that remain are the upwards forces. So this is the other component up here and up here. And they're in the same direction, so there's no way they cancel. And we have achieved what we wanted to achieve. And if our chosen direction was some oblique angle, uh, then the same thing would happen again. All the forces would just remain in this direction. From the explanation, we want to use the forwards facing vectors of the thrusters. 
directional vectors. So this thruster has a unit vector one that's facing that way. This one has one that's facing that way. And we will want to get those. And I'll apply control, PID control later in an effort to keep this somewhat uh, simpler. So I'll store the forward facing directions of the thrusters in a multidimensional array, which I will call the global forwards array. And this is the structure that it will take. Each row will have a vector and the vector includes the x, y, z components of the unit vector that the thruster is facing in. So if I have the number of C thrusters, I will have number of C rows uh, containing the x, y, z information of each thruster. So let's initialize that array now. So we have columns equal 3, rows equal C, and then we use a nested for loop to declare it all. So for each row, we declare a vector. So first we create an array at the ith index and then we assign zeros to x, y, z within this array. Then we go to the next one, the next one, the next one, and so on. Okay, I made an error somewhere. ta -da. Next, we would like to sort the thrusters. So basically what we will do here is we will assign the directional vectors to each thruster. And this is what we will need for this function. We need to get the block info object and it includes forwards, which is the forwards direction in the world. And that's exactly what we need. So this is what we do. And we will call this, we shall call this inf. And nine is for the thrusters and the index we will need to index this, so we can do a for loop. Right, so it's 9, because 9 is for proportion. So now, we call the forwards vector of this info object of the info object of each thruster and this includes the x, y, z relative to the global coordinates. And now we just need to assign these values to the global forwards array and this is how we can do that. So we just have We will later dot vector it, and I think this should work, but we can check. Uh, so we indexed from zero, and we just, the zeroth index is x, so we assign the x to that, the first one is y, so you send the y to that, and the third one is z, second here. So we assign that. So now we have assigned the actual information to this global forwards array. So that function is done. And let's see if anything is wrong. And of course, something is for two. Here we go. And this is really neat because all we care about is the global facing the, the direction of the thrusters. We don't care about the local one, the local ones. So this is all we need. And it's just it's a very neat thing, I think.
So the ne next function, we will assign the drive fraction to the thrusters. So let's take the example situation where we want it to go just up. We need to dot the up direction with the direction of the thruster. And again, uh, this is very simplified, so this is not the full functionality. And later we will add PIDs, control, uh, altitude, set points, and things like that. But for now, I'm trying to keep this very, very simple. Uh, and this is what we'll do. So the dive, drive fraction is equal to vector 3. And this is a unity function, so if you want to read more about this, then uh, just go to unity. This is why it's so neat to store the vectors in this way. We can just do this and then take the direction we want to go in, which is just up. And I believe that up is y equals 1 in the game. And we will see if it's, this is actually the case soon. We need to set the drive fraction for all of the thrusters. So type 9, which is which are the thrusters, the index is y, I'll create the fourth loop soon, and the float is drive fraction. So it's this one. And now we just need to call all the functions. We need to request the complex control. Remember. So we request the complex controller stimulus T. Remember that we assigned T to all the thrusters. Uh, so that was one. And then we do. So we do not want to s declare the array all the time. We just want to do it once and that's it. So what we will do is create a loop variable then we need to sort the thrusters so this is what we'll do we'll do sort t let's see let's see if that works that works just fine and now we need to assign the drive fraction now magic sh should happen See what's wrong. Something wrong. What is wrong? Ah, and I think I know what's wrong. So the only wallet inputs are from zero to one. So let's create. Let's make the inputs be from zero to one. Yes, here we go. Now we have this, uh, zero, I, I don't think this matters, I think Unity would understand, would it? Nah, it wouldn't, okay, I meant quack, not the other word, here we go, yes, there we go, and now we just go up forever, and I will add control later and we can test if this actually works by flipping the damn thing and still only the thrusters that make it go up are firing so this is working just fine and I think this is enough for this video and I'll see you next time <laughs>